So welcome to another Big Gold Belt interview with the cast of BMF. Today we are talking to Mr. B. Mickey himself. Miles, what's going on with you today, sir? Everything, man, ain't nothing to it, man. Ain't nothing to it. Everything good over here, brother. Cool, cool, cool. We got the opportunity to talk to you before the season started with the press junket, and you told us to look forward to uh, B. Mickey's spirituality this year. We, You told us to look towards him grounding himself in a hectic atmosphere that he's in. How do you feel about the audience reaction so far this season to Big B. Mickey? I'm sure you know how I feel. <laughs> um, nah, man, I, I love it. I love being able to play a character that people love and hate um, because they're able to see themselves in that character. Um, he's such a real character and, and, and a relatable character to where the situations that he goes through, mm -hmm. um, that's those are real situations that people go home to. The people yeah. that he has, you know, problems with or experiences with, those are real experiences and people that you go home to, you know? So I, I loved being able to play that character. I love being able to play a character in a character in a character, playing both sides, <laughs> you know you what I mean? Um, he has so much depth to himself, you know? And uh, while filming um, B. Mickey, because I, I really didn't get the fortune, the opportunity to really talk to B. Mickey and get his input on how the storyline is going and in his life and where he really came from. So I had to study the dialogue, really analyze the script and understand where the story was going for him and how I can make it make it to life, you know, to where people yeah. were not only loving it, but hating him as well, because it's such a real story, you know, and I just I love playing that villain and, and, and hero at the same time, man. You know, it's a lot okay. of psychological warfare that is going through. Um, and, and, and just back to my, my point exactly, like it, you can relate so much to him. You can relate to the experience that he has with his mom in the hospital. You can relate to when the times when he's talking to himself, you know, you can relate to when he feels trapped and can't get out of a situation, you know, and that's just in the real world. You know, we, we, yeah. we face that every day, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I had, I had, I had an amazing time. Now. At the end of last season, we understood we would get a different B. Mickey this season. Yeah. How's it just been like playing a character that's gone through so much stuff? We, we've we seen it through the course of this season, everything that he's gone through, some of the traumas that he's still dealing with. Just how's it been like playing a character like this? Um, It can play with your mental for sure, man. Like uh, you only have 12 to 14. 12 to 14 hours of a day, you're portraying somebody that you're not. And then um, you get maybe eight to maybe seven hours to go to sleep or be yourself when you go home. Um, and three months to four months at a time doing that, um, it can do a toll on you if you're not, if you don't know yourself. Um, and uh, I saw myself a little bit in him, you know, so that's how I was able to relate and, um, uh, have both of my life and his life parallel to each other to where I can make it look real and not have the audience question what they're watching. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to be as authentic as possible with this character and um, just bring out of bring, bring what I could out of them. That's not on the paper. Wow. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. That's a great thing. Now, so far this season, B Mickey's biggest obstacle has been detective Bryant. How's it been like just playing opposite Steve Harris? Like one, Man. any anybody in this industry understands just how much of a Titan Steve is. And I got to give you kudos to you, man. Like this season, it's rare that we see people who can stand toe to toe with him and give a great performance next to someone who you know is going to deliver. Wow. And your performance this year, every time you two are on screen together, is absolutely <laughs> it's absolutely phenomenal. Cry. Do not make me cry, man. Nah, that's that's the big homie, bro. That's the big homie, bro. I, everything that I had put on screen and every scene that we had with you know what I'm saying with each other, it was like two Jedi's wielding, you know what I'm saying, wielding our lightsabers to each other and just going going to battle, you know, and using the force, you know what I'm saying, that we learned throughout our, you know what I'm saying, experiences of filming different films and I've only been this in this shit for a decade. He's been doing this since before I was born. 
And the yeah. fact that going back to what you said, that we were we were so compatible in those scenes. Um, I'm glad to hear that because there was so many questions I had, you know and I'm saying of him, and he was so reciprocant of that, you know, giving me advice and giving me moments in time where I can take my moment and, and grasp my time in this scene. And uh, I loved working with him, man. Like I, the first time I ever seen him was a uh, diary of a black woman. Wow. And, and, and <laughs> meeting, him, meeting him after that, it, it's just like, it's crazy how, it's crazy how actors really will bring a certain aura to characters and then you meet them in person portraying a whole different character and you're like, wow, you brought you brought your shit to the table with that. Yeah. And and, and carrying that to BMF and me being, you know what I'm saying, on camera with him and us going to battle. Um, it was it was fun, man. Like it was such an experience just being in his presence and 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 understanding his mannerisms and 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 learning his signatures. You feel me? Yeah. Like I studied all that. I studied all that. And 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 to and the reason why I had to was so I can go, you know what I'm saying, go toe to toe with him. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? He's such a legend in the game. And I I didn't want to belittle that, you know, my my opportunity to be up there with yeah. him. And um yeah, man, he he was the big brother. He was one of my favorite castmates to work with, honestly, man. And I feel like just that chemistry and that relationship is showed on camera, regardless of the relationship of our characters. Um, the yeah. relationship was very much strong um, in real life. And uh, I can't even count on my fingers how many pictures we have with each other on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that, hey, for our audience, that's what our audience brings up more than anything is, uh, man, when when B Mickey and Brian are on screen together, it's phenomenal wow. to the extent where we've given our suggestions like, Hey man, go back. It's a movie of yours, uh, Ken, that I absolutely love. And I said, yeah, man, it. Oh. If you, if you want to see a great performance, go ahead and watch something like this. I'm telling you, you'll understand the progression and how we get to this point where they can have these amazing scenes with each yeah. other. Yeah. 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 Totally. But, with the growth so far of B. Mickey being so phenomenal, do you think it's important for characters in this genre to show this type of growth? Like we don't necessarily see it in all these shows in this type of genre of television that we're getting, but for B. Mickey, like this has been extremely powerful for a lot of young kids who may see this and may be trapped in, why not necessarily the same, same situation, but a similar situation where you got to make a decision that you know is going to hurt multiple people. Yeah, uh, I just I feel like that goes back to to it being such a relatable character. Um, mm -hmm. Mickey portrays that regular gangster corner boy mob, you know what I'm saying, mob, you know what I'm saying, mafia, whatever you would call it, person that you yeah. would see every day on the street. But you don't see the people that you that he that they go home to. Yeah. You don't see the situations that they go home to. You don't see the experiences that they have to live every day. And watching be Mickey and those people, they can relate with it. And that was my yeah. main objective. You know, I didn't want to play that son. I didn't want to play that gang mobster. Yeah. I wanted to play the character or that person that you could relate with in the experiences and situations in time that they go home to on an everyday basis in this, in this life, you know, cause we yeah. still have it to this day. You know, people are still selling Coke, you know what I'm saying? People are still selling some weed, you know, but there's a main objective on why that is in the, in, in the environment that they've been placed in and the situations that they have to handle and the people that they're providing for when they go home too. And that's the, that was my, that was my main goal for a person to be as a fan uh, of the show too and, uh, and as a as a person that came from that era to watch be mickey and be able to relate with him you know and not just not just necessarily uh 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 you know, honing down on just the exact experiences of him selling this and him killing this but how does he grasp it all you know what i'm saying and, and and execute what he needs to get done, you know? And that's the main thing. So that's what, I, that was my main goal. Hey man, that, and that's been perfectly clear to anybody. Again, if they hate or love B. Mickey, what they can say is, 
you clearly see it's coming from a place of honesty. And that's the most important part of it, where you understand this character is clearly going through everything. He's trying his best to make the best decisions. Mm. And at times, just deal with the consequences, which I think is powerful for a lot of young Black folks, especially, to yeah. see it and understand, like, hey, man, it may happen from time to time. Not yeah. necessarily, you don't have to be in a drug game for it to happen. You could be in any aspect of life and have to make yeah. those tough decisions. And I just want to say again, you do an amazing job at showcasing uh-huh. that. Thank you. Now, appreciate that. Now, your relationship so far on the show between B, Mickey, and Meech. We understand the brother relationship that they have. We yeah. even understood in the past how it got tested in episode six with the big reveal that we got then. And we see where it is now. How is it like just playing off with Lil Meech, that type of relationship? Uh, I feel like it, as a character, um, it, it's very much treacherous territory that he is stepping into when it comes to him selling this and him doing this for his organization and for Meech and also crossing those lines with Detective Bryant and jeopardizing that relationship with Meech. That just goes back to me playing a character within a character, you know? So I had to find, you know, my, my soft spot to where I could, you know, make it look as authentic as possible to Meech, you know, but then also play that side to where Detective Brian, I got you if you got me, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it was, I wouldn't say it was hard. It, it was, as an actor, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was an educational experience for me because I've never done that before. I've never played a character within a character and I had to, I had to, I had to find that soft spot, so. That's a, again, another great thing. I mean, especially for the audiences that are getting to see these episodes, they fully understand like the the closeness at times we get from B, Mickey and Meech when they're together. No matter through all the turmoil, you we clearly see it on screen. And mm-hmm. again, that's something that takes time to develop. That takes time to portray to people so they understand like, hey, these two characters are close, meaning these two actors are doing an amazing job at just showcasing that atmosphere of it all. Now, this... Right now, I know episode six, seven, and eight before this airs, eight is going to be available for everybody to see. What was it like to shoot those final scenes in episode eight when we see just the full range of emotion of everything (laughs) of B. Mickey attempting to let everything go at that time period? B. Mickey don't need a license to kill, man. And that's the main thing, you know what I'm saying? He don't need a license (laughs) to kill. And you saw that the first, you saw that the first season. Um, yeah. man, it, episode eight was one of my best episodes, like to film. I, I had so much fun because I was really able to show my chops. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, that was that was something I was longing for when it came down to Heather and Randy and them and me just having those conversations with them uh, about B. Mickey and his storyline and where it was going. And um, man, I, I had so much fun being able to show where his where 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 it was head where his head was positioned you know yeah. in this in this time of of this season and what was his main objective now that his mom is gone um yeah. he now knows that his life is in jeopardy now um and his freedom um so you're going to see that you're going to see why it's so important to him and what was important to him at that and to an extent to where 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 you know what I'm saying yeah. that that line was was barrier that, um, yeah you you're gonna see a lot you're gonna see a lot from B Mickey this next episode I can I don't want to tell you too much because I can really can. Yeah. I really can, <laughs> um, but uh yeah yeah it's it's not it's not more of a a revenge episode but a vengeance episode yeah you know hey, extremely powerful episode that's all you gotta tell folk you know yeah. you just watch it and understand it watch it two or three times cool. like. Two, First three myself, I've seen it two, two or three times already. So it's something <laughs> definitely you want to see because of the performance you get. But for our last question, we're going to ask you, what do you hope audiences take away in this back half of this season? Take away from the character B. Mickey. <sighs> Understand that life is real. Life is real. You can't dodge any bullets. Um, your skin is not made of steel. You feel what I'm saying? You are a human being. 
And that's where I want you to, that's that from these next three episodes, that's where I want people to take from be Mickey's character and his storyline that um you're not Superman, you know, and things can happen. And it's, and, and it's also how you handle those things, you know, and those experiences yeah. in time. So. Hey man. And thank you again for coming on big old belt, talking about a character that everybody humanly possible acts about, mm. but like, I hope you understand just the impact you have with this character on this show. I don't. And I'm, and, and thank you. for man, that. I really don't. You got to, and, and for everybody who's wondering if this is a performance, if this is really miles, let's just say I met miles at the BMF premiere. And <laughs> I'll just say it was, it was a particular person trying to kill everybody's joy, by not allowing certain things to happen that everybody wanted to happen. But miles kept himself cool, but he's yeah. absolutely nothing like B Mickey. This is a performance. <laughs> A performance that wow. I hope everybody appreciates. So thank you again for tuning in. Thank you, man. I appreciate uh, you, people. Thank you again, Miles, for just chopping it up with us. I'm gonna need that painting too, man. Oh man, <laughs> hey man, look, look, we make a way a big old belt. Trust me, we get. <laughs> right, we'll we'll make send a... you one. <laughs> for sure, we have a great weekend, though, brother. Hopefully, All right, you man. episode. All right, you do the same.